The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Borno Command, says it will not relent on efforts to curb all forms of criminal activities in the state. The state commandant, Musa Farouk, stated this while briefing newsmen on the arrest of seven persons suspected to be engaged in various criminal activities. TBC News' Jesse Tafida reports. The suspects were arrested by men of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps at Bakasi IDP camp and Bulunkutu area of the metropolis for vandalization of electric armored cables from a service transformer belonging to a Yola electricity distribution company. Other suspects and these four persons who specialize in vandalizing school chairs, street lights and horticulture lights located in the state capital. He says, I know what I did was wrong. I wanted to join any of the military outfits, and I'm aware that it will cost me a lot of money somehow, but I am remorseful of my actions. This one says, we are the ones who used to buy stolen items in the state. We bought these chairs at the rate of 80,000, even though we know the value is more than that. We are sorry and we appeal for mercy. We are on top of the game. The NSCDC Borno State Command vows to leave no stone unturned in fishing out criminal elements in the society. I want to assure you that this command, we do all within our powers to ensure normalcy returns to Meduguri, Borno State and its suburbs. Indeed, we can't do it alone, I've always said. Security is a collective enterprise, a responsibility of all citizens of goodwill. One, you must provide information which becomes the template for our dealings. And of course, we must energize whether that's the security agencies. We must commune together to achieve this purpose. We can't do it alone. But at our end, we'll do our best. The suspect will be charged to court after preliminary investigations are completed. The NSCDC Borno State Command says it will continue to deal decisively with criminal elements in the state until it brings crime to the barest minimum. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Medjugorje.